Hey, what's going on, community? Man, this uh, this last week was really, really fruitful. I'm really glad I got a chance to step out there. Uh, I was out at the North American Blockchain Summit. Uh, it was there in Fort Worth, Texas. Ryan Harper, one of the big guys with the Texas Blockchain Association, he threw the event. It had a killer lineup of speakers. There was Vivek Ramaswamy, RFK Jr., Caitlin Long, Peter McCormick actually was there, funny enough. Big, big lineup, you know, a lot of really, really heavy hitters. Mark Moss, some of those guys, uh, for, you know, a lot of those guys are familiar with some of the people in our ecosystem. And then a couple of our guys, man, some homegrown favorites. We had Danny the Singer, KG, y'all know I'm always with KG, one, one way or the other. But the event itself was a little smaller as far as arrangement, but it was there at the Fort Worth Convention Center. It's right across from like the Water Gardens, which one of my favorite places there in Fort Worth. The event was really fantastic. It was again really heavy uh, on on the speakers. There was a ton of like just hitters out there that was really great to kind of see in person. You get a little different feel for you know guys like Vivek when they speak. And then there was a, a big big predominance of the the Bitcoin mining community, which you know for a lot of us here in our community, the mining side isn't as interesting. It's not what we're as uh, you know as big a proponent of. But especially like here locally, it's it's a big deal when it comes to like the energy infrastructure. And while overall mining has has a lot of downsides, it it's a, it's a big part of the conversation here here locally in Texas. But the event overall was fantastic. It's it's always great to get out there and shake hands and see people. You know Gary Cardone, someone I've been hanging out with quite a bit here recently. He was there. There's a lot going on in the space, but a few of the things that I really wanted to highlight was hearing Caitlin Long and a few of, you know, Senator Lumens, a few of these people highlighting, hey, this is really a problem. And, and hearing people of that caliber just say, hey, this is a corrupt problem. Hey, we're having issues with Elizabeth Warren. We're trying to get these things passed. We're having issues of the, the Fed not acting independently on getting certain things approved. And, you know, a lot of us see this when it comes to like the ETFs, you know, we, we kind of see what we see on the front. So, you know, th those are things that are front and center, the issues with Grayscale. There are big players and, you know, different people that are, you know, elected officials that are trying to push back on a lot of this. Some, you know, some of these guys, you got to kind of take at their word. There are some that I was definitely more convinced of there their real take, their real stance than others, but it was a lot, it was very noticeable. So I think the biggest thing to highlight overall was the significance of the speakers and them being sort of lock and step with a lot of us that, hey, the government's out of line on these things. They're trying to crush industry. Uh, there's a lot of concern over CBDCs, a lot of discussion around stable coins and you know, referring to those as the killer app, which you know, naturally, again, I get why they're not as interesting to some certain people in certain circles. They've always been something that really stuck out to me. And it was originally what drew me to, to Liquid Loans was the quality of something like USD on the stable coin side. That's what originally spoke to me. And, you know, I'm very close with the team. I love all these guys. Even before I was, you know, officially part, stable coins matter. You know, again, they refer to as the, as the killer app by several guys there. They're looking at expanding these things. You're seeing, you know, Custodia has US dollar and Bitcoin custody under one roof. Uh, and they're not a centralized exchange. Now, again, they're still counterparty risk, don't get me wrong, but it's a very different environment, the way they're looking at regulating, holding uh, their internal mandates and how they want to basically keep those things safe versus things like a centralized exchange is going to have all the the absolute parade of issues and horribles that we've seen. I really just kind of wanted to highlight that there there's a bigger voice than we think if you're just listening to some of the, the things on social media, you just sort of see these big guys pushing and it's very easy to to look at every event and be like, oh, here's another brick in the wall, another issue where you know these bigger players and the federal government is kind of overstepping. Maybe it's just because I got to see them in person, but I'm, I'm feeling more bullish and, and, and being excited to see that there's really top tier people out there that are elected, that are you know, you know CEOs of banks doing different things that are really pushing back and trying to keep the kind of ethos that we have here in crypto alive and, and try to keep these things decentralized and supporting mining in a variety of healthy ways, you know, here locally. So guys, I'm pretty bullish. You know, I, you guys know, I love to be out at the events in person. I like to shake hands. It was great to see, you know, Danny again. He's a, you know, he's a legend. A lot of these guys were, were really bullish, man. So, uh, you know, thank you to the Texas Blockchain Association for having us out. You know, I grabbed a little Bitcoin shirt, come in mine. It's kind of cool. If you're from the, if you're from Texas, you probably get the reference. Really happy that Ryan Harper threw on the event. It was, you know, great to see him again. Uh, I got a chance to, you know, meet him down in Florida previous to this. So these guys are doing a great job. There are more voices out there really 
pushing than we think. Uh, so, you know, in our community, we've been doing a lot on the, on the petitions and signatures. You know, a lot of these guys have done a lot to lead the way. I, I know Kinetics and those guys have, have, have done great work there. So I just want to encourage everyone to not have a defeatist mentality with this stuff. Keep pushing forward, support people who support the similar things that you do, you know, try to get down to the smallest levels of government. Guys, we can make a difference. You know, we got to make sure that we can keep these things uh, safe enough, long enough to be to be flourished and that we can go on and build cool stuff. I, I've said this, you know, a hundred times now. Crypto already won. We won. All that's left to figure out is if crypto is going to look the way we want or if it's going to look the way they want with CBDCs and you know the surveillance state. So guys, let me know what y'all think. I'll be really interested to see what you guys think of some of these guys. I'll get out y'all soon.